Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is the trucker Rudy coming to you this fine Sunday morning. And the wind has finally slowed down a little bit. It was still fairly windy last night when I pulled in here, but uh, this morning it seems like there is still a little bit of a breeze going on, but not too bad, guys. But it is that time of the day where we got to start our day. So coming right along with the Trucker Rudy Show today. I would appreciate that. And let's see what kind of goodies we'll be able to show you today. So let's uh, get the show rolling and let's not go anywhere. That's don't, don't change that channel, man. Yeah, don't flip over to a different channel. Right here on Trucker Rudy Show. <laughs> a little bit of a detour and we're working on the on the road there I'm just gonna let this driver know here hey Westbound you might want to take this exit right here they got big backup over there yeah I just let the driver snow so that way they can take a detour there and then uh, you know, guys know about it, right? So that way they can take a little detour around there. And I was lucky enough, we just coming up to the exit there, and that's when uh, everything came to a screeching halt. Apparently, they're doing some kind of work on the road or something there. And it's only for about a mile, so I mean, it wasn't bad, but there's a big line up there. They weren't letting traffic through at all. Apparently, they were working on hydro lines there or something, putting them across the highway or something. And they can't have nobody going uh, on the highway if they do that, right? So they only let a few trucks through or a few vehicles through and then they shut her down again or whatever. And the one guy said he was there for 25 minutes and it took me like five minutes to get around. So, you know, I'm going to take it, right? <laughs> yeah. Anyways, we're still on our way towards Toronto. Like we're still on time. Well, we have to take us another detour, unfortunately. Yeah. This I-96 is closed in both directions for some odd reason. I don't know what they're doing there today, but I wish I had known that. I could have gone down the 94, but only a couple of days ago I came down here. Oh no, that actually came down uh, by Sarnia, so yeah, I didn't come down here a couple of days ago, but uh, I mean, a couple of weeks ago when I come through here, there was no signs of any closure or anything like that, so uh, oh well, that's the way it goes, I'll know on my way back not to go on 96, I'll continue on on 94. Because the good thing is there is two interstates that come toward the border there, so I can go 94 instead of 96. I normally always take the 96, it's just easier for me, I know the route, everything like that, you know. But uh, today it didn't pay off, that's for sure. I got lucky earlier, but not anymore. And we got a million traffic lights up here. I guess I got to stop at every single one of them <laughs> that's what it feels like but we are almost back to the 96 it looks like should be here shortly anyways and then we'll be uh, back on interstate again we'll be at the border here before you know it but anyways let's continue on and see what happens welcome to Canada ladies and gentlemen yes indeed we are back in Canada and it's slight flurries up here and windy like crazy. Yeah, that wind is trying to push me over there pretty bad. And whenever there is an open spot, I almost have to slow down some of these spots. That wind is just super, super strong out here. Yes, indeed. 
but at least it's not snowing right uh, I mean not super heavy snow right now it's just very light light flurries so it's not bad right now I don't think the road is any slippery whatsoever I mean it's too warm right now yet right but yeah it's it's uh, not a good situation if it were to be freezing here right now yeah I remember seeing videos on Facebook and stuff like that and it was like last year or the year before we had some terrible terrible accidents so we need you guys all to be safe out there remember when it first starts snowing slow down it is really slippery usually and that's what we need to keep in mind don't be in a hurry all the time, right? Slower down. Yes, indeed. But anyways, we got us about another two hours to Toronto to our delivery. Since we got delayed there a little bit in, in uh, Detroit, we're probably going to be uh, right around 3.30 be in uh, our delivery unless we get any more delays from here to there right but let's hope we don't get too many more delays otherwise we're going to be late well not really late late but they close at four o'clock as far as i know so uh, if that's the case then i won't be able to drop the trailer there today i'll have to go there tomorrow morning which i don't really want to do but but anyways We'll continue cruising along, along here and hope for the best, I guess. Here we go, guys. Now you can start seeing that snow blowing starting, happening right now. Yes, sir, we bomb. We're getting into the snow, it looks like. Probably that lake effect snow. Wouldn't surprise me. But we all knew that this day was coming and it's just too bad it is so windy like that makes it even worse for a condition you know but yeah it's really bright too so I figure I'll put my my shades on so we don't uh, get blinded or whatever it's hard on the ice looking at that bright white snow you know yeah anyways just figured I show you that little blast of snow coming across the highway there a little bit feels like the snow is starting to pick up a little bit more too i just really really hope it ain't going to be too bad you know by the time we get to toronto we're almost back to london i think so uh we'll see we'll see how the road conditions will be but anyways Posted. Hey guys, we Thank are now in Toronto. Turn left on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at that. Up here to the left, the left side is Master Steak. Yes, indeed. And I'm kind of. Turn left on. Shawson Drive. You want to go down here? You want to go see how busy or how full that uh, Husky truck stop is? If it's not really full, then I might go down and get me an empty trailer and see if we can get me a good spot here to park but other than that we're just probably going to park in a buck till section but yeah that looks pretty full in here that's for sure <laughs> yeah i think then we're just going to go ahead and park in the buck till section up here and then we'll go down to the terminal tomorrow and pick up an empty trailer so yep that's what we're going to do it's pretty full in here so I saw a spot open over here so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and squeeze her in over here and then uh, we'll be good you know right here as you guys saw me pull in over here at the husky there earlier yep, we're still parked over here and uh, we went over there and had us a very very good steak yes indeed we did and now it's uh, 
pretty much just preparing for tomorrow's trip. Pretty much just updating the website and uh, getting all that stuff ready for ya. Yeah, looking at it myself on where I'm going to be going. Because that one stretch of the highway or road where I'm picking up, one stretch of that is restricted to trucks, no truck zone. So I kind of got to figure out how to go around it and uh, all that stuff. So that's what I'm kind of be looking at right now. But uh, yeah, anyways, uh, we are done for today. It's probably a little bit of a shorter vlog, but uh, it's the way it is. But uh, we did get to show you the first uh, real snow, I guess, this fall or this winter, I guess, whatever you want to call it. But uh, that was pretty much my first serious snow that I've seen. So hope you guys like that, especially from other countries. You probably would enjoy that. So uh, with that being said, we appreciate you guys watching today's vlog. And we will see you again tomorrow right here on this channel at 2 a.m. in the morning in the morning at central time and be sure to rate the video up subscribe and don't forget to share the video that's how people find me so uh, and also don't forget to leave a comment on there below and we'll see you right here tomorrow morning this has been trucker Rudy signing out